right, next stop, Millicent. Sort of reminds you of the uh, Angelina Jolie movie, Maleficent. <laughs> anyway, I don't know whether you can work out what I'm walking along here, but uh, this item here is uh, 33 meters long, weighs about six tons. Uh, it marries up to a, well, let's get it out of the ground, a wind turbine. <laughs> The wind turbine itself with this, um, I think it was about 23 ton, and uh, total height is around about 100 meters. So Millicent is a bit of an area of wind turbines, and we can definitely find out why. I've seen enough of these windy things around, well, not the turbines, I've seen enough wind around these days. Um, but I think there's, a, there's a, a, a number of farms around here. Funny enough, I can't see one standing here. But uh, there's a bunch of farms out here. I think they, they total around about 126 plus wind turbines. So, uh, and I think one of these is able to produce some 11, uh, enough power for 1,100 ohms. So, yes. But I think this one might have fallen off the uh, the back of the truck. Got a chip in it, so they hung it up here. <laughs> but pretty nice to get up and close to, yeah, a very big prop. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Next destination, please. Pretty cool. We pulled up here, Tan Tantanola. I hope that's how you said it. Big mystery here in Tantanola. Way back in 1891, it was nothing but farmers' fields and paddocks for miles with heaps of stock and things grazing on it. The problem was back then, something was killing the stock and it was a dreadful killing as well. Virtually stripping all the flesh off the animals, just leaving bone, a little bit of skin around. They did time and time again, um, parties going out to try and find this animal that was killing them. There was some visuals. Um, there was some um, paw prints taken at the scene, which were very, very big, bigger than the average dog, they say. And then there was some witness um, uh, sightings of this animal and they said it was big, it was striped and it looked like a cat, a big tiger. So uh, this went on for a long long time and it wasn't until about 1895 that a posse went out, came across this animal and they shot it dead. That animal is over in the pub of which we'll go and have a look at very very soon. The problem was is that after 1895, the mystery still continued. There was still so many um, slaughter of animals going on, it wasn't funny. And it wasn't until later on down the track, they found, I think two guys, and I think they might have been um, going by the cover of that animal that was doing all the, the slaughtering. They were trying to put the blame on that whilst they continued doing it as well. So. The story's still pretty vague, even the publican over here that I've um, gone to have a look at, they've only just taken the joint over and um, they're doing a great uh, job over there at the pub. We're gonna go and see them um, to, uh, today for, for lunch. Um, but they say that they're um, uh, restoring a lot of the memorabilia and they've only been there six weeks. So they too are only just getting on the story of this tiger, but they have the tiger over there for us to go and have a look at. Let's go and have a look. just popped into the pub and here we have it the creature that was raising all merry havoc around the pastures and bits and pieces of all the, the sheep and cattle there is the Tananola tiger 1895 it was uh, taxidermied so uh, obviously the uh, it was fairly new on the scene as far as taxidermy goes so it stood the test of time pretty good but was it the culprit? We're at the Tenaluna Tiger Hotel. <laughs> Enjoying a nice cold refreshment and check this out. Obviously this is what the Tasmanian Tiger or the Siberian Tiger or the Tiger Tiger didn't get. You can't complain of that. Talk about a feed. This is, this is our our breakfast, our lunch, and our dinner. I'll be lucky to move after this. Enjoy. Well, 
we've arrived at Mount Gambier. There we have a uh, little sign over in the distance there that proves it. And uh, also in the background there, I think you can see a very large, um, I think it's a sawmill. Um, Mount Gambier's got a, a, a very big uh, timber industry around the place. So I think there's something to do with uh, softwoods, pulpwoods or something like that as well. So uh, yeah, pretty important, along with um, dairy and um, uh, beef and a lot of um, produce and things that are made here too. But as you can see by the weather, we've had a little bit of a, a change. <clears throat> Yesterday was apparently, it, it was, I can't say apparently because I was here, it was bloody wet. So uh, we just hunkered down. We had the showgrounds. We're just around the corner here. Um, we're, at, we're at the showground, so we've got some power and some water. It's 30 bucks a night, which is pretty good. There's toilets and uh, showers available. So a pretty awesome spot. To mention too, over in the background here, there's a, uh, a very large truck show going on. So, I don't know. Don't count your chances, but we might go over and see if what, what we can see there, or, uh, see how the day pans out, eh? So we are enjoying a very nice feed here at the uh, the Tanner Tanner. Get back there on that one. Enjoying a, a very nice drink and a meal at the Tantanola Tiger Hotel. Now I'm not too sure what they did with all the leftover. Uh... No. <laughs> Nine, uh, 1895. Uh, oh, damn it. Actually, we're doing okay. We've pulled up here. But, bit slow at taking this name down. Uh, 